part of that mental health discussion is the resources that are available to those who are suffering and struggling. Over the summer, the 988 Suicide Prevention Lifeline launched with the goal of getting immediate help to people who are in crisis. But tonight, one Matthews woman tells us that she called that number and wound up in a goose chase of, of other crisis hotlines during a crucial time of need. WCNC Charlotte's Jane Montreal has that story tonight. A frustrating situation the 988 says they're going to look into. Mental health experts agree it is important to find help if you find yourself having suicidal thoughts. Three days ago would be the last social media post of celebrity dancer and DJ Stephen Twitch Boss being Twitch. News breaking Wednesday afternoon that he died by suicide resonating with Sanja Goodwin, a local comedian. Yeah, I'm an entertainer too. The show must go on. That's what we do. We entertain and then we go into ourselves and feel all that pain by ourselves. Goodwin says she tends to go through a depressive state in December with memories of her mother's unexpected death. It just jumps on you and it tries to attack you. It's like weeds wrapping around you. It's trying to take you out. The depression is trying to take you out. You just know that there is hope, there is help, and our 98 Lifeline Center staff are available 24-7, 365 days out of the year. Goodwin called 988 a week ago. 348 in the morning, and I felt like I was disturbing her. On the 988 website, their most recent report, which was published in 2020, says, quote, when calls are rerouted to centers out of state, North Carolina callers in crisis often wait two to three times longer. Is that something that seems to be a complaint in the mental health profession, that it's understaffed at all? I have not heard that complaint, Jane, but one of the things I really want to reinforce is that in addition to utilizing that 988 resource, I really encourage folks to reach out to a trained professional to get that additional support and potentially participate in ongoing services to help their symptoms improve. Goodwin says she eventually called a friend. You know, she told me it was okay to feel the way I was feeling. And we talked for two whole hours and I finally could breathe because I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't collect myself. I couldn't find a way to make it out for myself. A spokesperson for 988 says they take any feedback very seriously. They also want to make sure people who reach out to them are comforted and supported during this difficult time. They do say they are going to reach out to Goodwin to address her concerns and make sure any issues are not repeated for future contacts. In Charlotte, Jane Monreal, WCNC Charlotte.